Hey, my name is James Nicholson and welcome to my YouTube channel. Interest rates are likely to start going below 4%. Now, I don't mean the Bank of England interest rate. I mean the mortgage rate you pay. And that's way more interesting than what the Bank of England do, because at the end of the day, you want to pay less on your mortgage. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you when this might happen, why this might happen, and what likely is contributing to rates coming down at the moment. We're seeing a property mortgage price war at the moment, and that is what we want as consumers. Now, before we jump into this, as always, if you haven't done already, do subscribe to the channel over there and hit that bell notification. We're on the way to 26,000 subscribers. I appreciate everyone that takes a moment to do that. And while you're here, smash like, tickle like, do something, do the like button. That really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. It means you're just a great person if you do it. So go and smash that button over there. So what's going on? Well, interest rates, the Bank of England rate <coughs> went up 14 consecutive times. It's now being held for around four or five times. And you're seeing the Bank of England is signaling they're going to cut rates soon. The Federal Reserve are also signaling signaling they're going to cut rates soon, which is really positive stuff. And that's what we need to happen. So that's the base rate. And what we want, though, is the mortgage rates to drop. And they have been over the last few weeks. Now, this happened back in December as well. So last year, December 2023, the market went really quiet. That's not great for banks. They make money in lending money. That's what they want to keep doing, right? So they need to stimulate the market. And so what they did in January was cut rates. Lots of the banks did this. And so mortgage rates in January started to go down. Inflation was still high. The Bank of England wasn't dropping their base rate or interest rate at all. But the banks did this to just get more competitive and stimulate the market, which it did. The market got busier around March, which shows that it takes a few months in order for things to start happening. So in March, more inquiries came in, more business came in, and the banks were busy again, right? But that was short-lived. And so now they've got a problem where there's lots of people that want to buy a house, that can afford to buy a house, but they just want to make sure that they're not getting the rate at the highest possible interest rate. So there's tons of people now that are just waiting for interest rates to drop. And so what the bank are doing is they're giving you that drop even before the Bank of England has done that. So let's look at some of the reasons why they're doing that. Well, first is inflation data is pretty good now. So we've had two months now where we have hit the 2% target. Now, the Bank of England say in their meetings there is a risk of inflation coming back at the end of this year due to energy costs. However, if you look at the price of oil, there's a downturn in China at the moment. And so oil costs have actually gone down. So that might eliminate some of that inflation pressure coming back at the end of 2024. So that's positive news. Now, a lot of the inflation that potentially could come back is not down to me or you. It's down to service service side inflation. So you can't control the price of oil. You're still going to heat your house. You're still going to turn the lights on in your business. Uh, and it's just something that's out of your control. And so because of that, banks kind of understand that hopefully the Bank of England is softening their stance on this now. Uh, and inflation isn't beaten, but it is definitely in a stronger position. So that is giving banks more confidence. The biggest problem that they've got at the moment <coughs> is the market has slowed down again, like it did in December, right? Transactions are 25% down compared to 2019, 25%. That is a huge downturn, a huge downturn in transactions. Now, it hasn't hit prices too much yet because what we're seeing is there are equal number of buyers and equal number of sellers in the market at the moment. So they're kind of matching up quite nicely. And we haven't had lots of desperate sellers in the market because we did have um, the mortgage scheme that the, the Tories had that meant that you could go on interest only. 
the banks were kind of told don't repossess properties uh, and so they kind of held back on that uh, and so there isn't loads of distressed sellers at the in the market at the moment but that could change right and so if that changes prices will start to drop but the banks their biggest concern is it is a slow, slow, slow market. 25% down on 2019, as I said. And 2019 was the last year that things were really normal, wasn't it? And so they want to reinvigorate the market again. And so the banks, they borrow from bigger banks. So HSBC, Barclays, etc. might borrow from someone like JP Morgan, who you may have heard of. And they borrow on a rate called the Sonia swap rate sonia oh swap rate now those bigger banks have cut that sonia swap rate over the last few weeks as well so that's another reason why rates are coming down at a faster pace at the moment the mortgage rate that you get is coming down and so one is they want to stimulate that market again like they artificially stimulated it in December, they're doing the same again. They're battling. So nearly every day, I'm getting different stories from HSBC, from Barclays, from Nationwide. Nearly every single lender, the big traditional banks have cut rates. Some of them have cut rates three times in the last two weeks. And that's all to get the headlines and to get that business from you guys. And maybe just convince you it's now time to go and buy that house that you need or to remortgage with that bank. That's what they're trying to do at the moment. And here's the bigger play here is I feel rates will hit under 4%, so sub 4% rate due to marketing. Marketing. So look, if you're a bank and you cut your rate below 4%, every single newspaper is going to write a story on that. And so by doing that, you're going to get so much free advertising, it's crazy. And this is a really smart advertising strategy. We've got banks at the moment that are at 4.1%. Drop it below 4% and suddenly you're going to be in the Financial Times, the Sun, the Daily Mail, the I newspaper, everywhere is going to feature you. And that is something that would cost millions millions of pounds in advertising but you get it for nothing just by cutting that rate and that's what you're gonna start seeing people do now here's what you need to also keep an eye on because they might cut their rate but what they might do is increase their fees so what you might start seeing is someone that says hey i've got a deal it's 3.9 percent but i want a three percent or a four percent fee in order to give you that rate. So you've got to keep an eye on that stuff because it's really important that you look at not just the rate, but the fees as well, and just see which rate works best for you. But I know in the next few days, you're going to start seeing some sub 4% deals. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do smash like, do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. Check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here.